Hey everybody, thanks for watching. We're talking about the most cutting edge breakthrough drills that have been made for the golf swing. Golf scientists have found a lot of things out recently about the golf swing plane and more recently about ground forces into the ground and how they can be used not only for speed, that was kind of the first thing, but then also for consistency. This ground force pattern that you use is kind of like your own personal DNA and if you develop a good one, it will be very repeatable and very powerful. Now the cutting edge stuff that goes, goes with it, it all, you could talk for hours about the theory of it, but really it all boils down to a handful of step drills. If you look at Xander Shoffley, if you look at a lot of these uh, PGA Tour players, they're like, they're changing kind of their philosophy from like in the 90s and in the 2000s, it was very much, very positional, to now it's, it's much more about flow and it's about um, the, pre the pressure and not the position and the motion, the entire motion and not the part of the swing, but the entire motion altogether. So what I wanted to do is I'm going to show you these step drills and I want you guys to do these and then report back to us about how it affected your game. I'm pretty sure it's going to be a positive change for you, but we're going to go through these step drills. If you go to uh, BeBetterGolf.net, I printed all these out into these forms. But this, all this stuff comes from Dr. Kwan at Texas Women's University. He's a golf wow. researcher. He put together these step drills to complement all the 3D work that he's done. So I don't know that much about exactly why they work or how they work or anything. All I've done is watch a lot of interviews and, and read some papers and stuff. But on his Instagram page, I put together kind of the top ones that I see a lot of the athletes that go there use. So looking forward to maybe doing something with him in the future, but let's get straight into how they work. So the first thing we're gonna do is this, the name I gave it, it's not my drill, but uh, the lead stepper. So what you're gonna do, Xander, and Xander's gonna help us out here today. Sound good, dude? Yes. All right. So what you're gonna do is, Xander, you're gonna put your, make a regular stance, right? Then you're gonna drop one foot back about that much, okay? Then you're gonna bring the club out here and hold it. Okay, then you're gonna, as you bring it back, you're gonna step forward and then swing, okay? So swing the club back, step forward and swing. Exactly like that. Kinda like baseball. Yeah, kinda like baseball, exactly. So we go here, we step the foot back, forward, back, feet. step, swing. Good. Kind of like Happy Gilmore. Yeah, it's a lot like Happy Gilmore. Happy Gilmore is actually super high tech stuff. Step back here, club out here, back, step, swing. All right, we're gonna do two more of those. So you kind of getting the flow now, Xander? Yep. Step back here, swinging out here, back, step, swing one more let me see you do it yep forward back good this next one is very simple okay I don't really think that you should go from most simple to most complex I think you should really kind of be like random about it this one Xander it, you're gonna like this one because it's really easy this is just called the club rock easy. forward Okay, so Xander, what we're gonna do here is take a regular stance, and all, you're, all we're gonna do here is leave your feet where they are, but put the club forward here, and then go back, through, okay? Good, let's do that again, let's do that a couple times. Forward, back, through. That's two, now you show me how to do it. Forward, back, through, nice. Let's do two more together. Ready? One, two, three. Forward, back, through. Let's do it again. Forward, back, through. Nice. All right, let's move on to the next one. And this is something that I think you could follow along with this video and do it a couple times, but just do, I would say of each one, do like 15 or 20 of each one. And they don't have to be really hard. All right, so this one is called the stepping TikTok. This, this one, Xander, now requires a little bit more coordination. And if you notice with each one of these, Xander, none of them are like just little parts of the swing. Each one is a full swing in and of itself. Like people a lot of times would just do things like this. Like, you know, some other like kind of TV commercial stuff. 
would do that again and again. I think the entire, it has to be in an entire swing. I don't think you should just swing in just a part of the swing. You should like only your back swing or only your transition. All right, this next one's in, it's called the stepping TikTok. So, so go TikTok. back there. Okay, so this one, bud, just take a normal stance and start the club right here. And we're gonna step, step and swing like this. It's just back and forth, like waist high, TikTok. But we're marching with our feet. So trying to get the shuffle at one oh, and two. This the foot. One not that good at. No, you're getting better. See if you can get the rhythm of it. it. Takes coordination. So my feet are coming off the ground, and it's always the step goes first, and then the swing. And you want to try to stay pretty centered in like your mass, centered as far as where you are, but you want your pressure to be big. How are you doing with this one? Good. Hey bud, look, watch this. Don't go like this with your hands. Keep it stiffer like this. Yeah. Step and swing. This one's really hard. Yeah? Watch. Step back, step through. Step back, step through. This is more like a dance. And as you're training your ground force pattern, you'll notice like golf becomes much more like learning a new dance than it does like trying just to hit a position or something. Okay, that's good. So this is what you're gonna do. Let's do that together, Zener. Sometimes I like to do this one with a kind of a 10 fingers, a little kind of a split grip. This one is probably my least favorite. This is the one you probably need to work on the most. Yeah. Okay, let's go to the next one. It feels, the other ones feel really good. The other ones felt really good? Yeah. You're gonna love this next one. Be careful with it though. This, this one is a little bit haywire, the, the next one. So stand back at your spot, Xander. You're gonna be the best at this one. Cool. This is the one you're definitely gonna be the best at. Cool. All right, so this next one, we just call this the horizontal chop. So you can make a back swing like this. You put the club straight in front of you. Back, through, this is just like back, through. <laughs> Keep it nice and flat. Like you're hitting a baseball off a tee, but nice and flat, Xander. Yeah, don't dig under it. Nice and flat, back, through, back, through. Now keep doing it. Watch Xander when he does it. Go back and through. Keep it flat to the ground. Back. Part. That was perfect. So you see Xander's a, a real good baseball player. And you can see that we, now this time, Xander, when you go back, feel like you get a little lower. And then when you go through, you get a little taller. Lower, taller, lower, taller. So do that with us, and then we're gonna move on to the last one. So this, this last one is the most complex one, but it really kind of wraps up everything that you need to do. All right, so we're gonna do this two-step drill. So Xander, we start with our feet, go back to your spot. We start with our feet kind of together, like this, you know? Go there, so people can see you. So your feet are together, then we bring the club out here, then we step back with the back foot. Then we make a back swing. Then we step forward with the lead foot and make a through swing. So we go like this, watch. Here, one and two. That's the two step drill. Do you get that? Step with your back foot, step with the forefoot. That's it. Try that all, all in one move, bud. There, back foot, forefoot. That's great, Xander. Try to do it a little softer and smoother. Nice, here we go. I'll try it a couple of times, three times. So we go here, back foot, just a forward foot. Here. And I've been doing these uh, step drills recently, pretty, pretty much is the only thing I've been doing as far as working on my swing, this and some club throws, which I'll show you in a second. And God, I've, I've improved so much recently. So we go here and back. Yeah. And it really gets everything dynamic. One giant fluid motion. I'm gonna take a little speed off here. Here. You getting that one, Xander? You getting better? Yeah. Is it hard? Uh, no, not really. Step. 
Okay, do it again, but only brush the very top of the grass. Okay, now what we're gonna do, Xander, is just make a normal, good, very good, the best driver swing you can. Okay, I'll go first. So feeling those same kind of pressure shifts, we're going. Go ahead, bud. Let's see your final swing. One more. That was beautiful. Good balance. That's all the, the Dr. Quan drills. The final thing that I've been working on that I, that I add to this, what I've been doing is I've just been taking my club because I have a takeaway that goes like this inside and kind of shut. So I've just been doing this where I go forward and tossing the club back like dozens and dozens of times. So do that for me, Xander. Yeah, toss it back. Toss it back gently towards the camera. Yeah, but all the way like that. Okay. One, two, three, back. That was perfect. Normally your backswing is like this. That time your backswing is like that. And that's what we want. Okay, we're gonna do it right straight back to the camera. So not this way where it's getting thrown that way, but watch, it's gotta go that way. Really good. Okay, now I want you to make a swing where you have that kind of, that same feeling you had on the backswing, but you actually swing forward like you're hitting one straight down the marina. Good. But now actually swing through. Hold on to the club this time. No, that wasn't a toss, that was a fold. Like you're gonna toss it back and throw it through. That was beautiful. All right, that's it. See you next time on Be Better Golf. Make sure to like and subscribe. See you next time. Yep, thanks for watching everybody. So do those drills, I, I want this to be a collaboration. So do the step drills. I can almost guarantee that everyone who consistently does these that hasn't done them before is gonna get a lot better at golf. Don't do parts of, the, of swings, do full complete swings just with these little additions. And I think it'll make you a, a lot freer and a lot more athletic feeling out on the course. Thanks for watching, bye. Bye.